Well, hello internet world, this is Nathan here. I do a lot of cool uh, vacuum videos. Alright, so today we have a very special head-to-head -head video. We have all seen Roombas. They have like the E5, they got the 960, they got the i3, and they also have the i7. Well, over the years, competition has been very fierce. More and more companies are coming out with newer and better models for a cheaper price point. So, the Yeti Vax Max has 3,000 pascals of suction, up to 200 minutes of runtime, can mop, can vacuum. Also, lastly, it's compatible with Yeti's self emptying bin system. But, is the Vax Max better than the i3? Well, stick around, I'll show you the differences and kind of tell you which model is right for you. Well, they say first impressions is everything. That's probably why I only had first dates, not second dates. Okay, so when it comes to unboxing, I think iRobot really did a good job. It's a nice colorful box, and the packaging, the presentation is really good. It's one of the best I've seen. Okay, so both robots are pretty sparse on accessories. The only thing you get with the Yeti is some additional mopping pads, whereas on the iRobot system, you just get an extra filter. Now, you don't get extra side brushes or anything like that. Okay, we got a couple cleaning challenges coming up, but first let's look at the iRobot app. It's that little green icon up there. We'll go ahead and launch it. I do like the animations. It's very nice and very clean looking. Now up top is the list of robots I have, and you can just go back and forth to select the robot you want. But for this example, we did i3+. Plus. Now you do have the emptying bin option. Also, you can vacuum everywhere. Well, it's nice to see companies being able to provide support software updates with older models. And iRobot's been known to do that. With the latest software update, you can now edit the smart mapping. So, you have the ability to create your map, you can edit the map, delete the map. Also, you can add rooms, label the rooms, and finally, you can tell the robot to clean a specific rooms. Well, it's not all smooth sailing. There's some additional features that iRobot admitted. For example, you do not get keep out zones. Also, you do not get error cleaning. So, hopefully down the road, we might get those features. Okay, so let's look at Yeti's interface. It's vastly different. You can see the live map there. And if you scroll down, you can see you can change the volume, also vacuum levels. And you can tell it to do a custom area cleaning, which allows the robot to clean a specific area. Now you do have an auto cleaning, which cleans the entire room. And you also have room cleaning. Now, one thing I would like to mention is in room cleaning, you do not have the ability to create your own rooms. The software does it automatically. I've been really wanting that feature for a long time. So hopefully Yeti provides that feature in a software update. But for now, you just have the zone cleaning, which allows you to go and clean a specific room. Okay, so let's talk about some reasons why you should get the iRobot over the Yeti. For example, the i3, i4 is compatible with the really good self-emptying system that iRobot provides. It has the benefit of knowing when the dustbin is full, so the robot can go back and empty its dustbin. Also, with the dual rubber brush design, it's really easy to clean off the pet hair, so maintenance is really easy on the i3, i4. Now, if you're worried about the robot leaving a certain area, I would recommend using the lighthouse or a physical boundary because sometimes the robot vacuum may get off track and go into a different area. So the benefit of getting the Yeti is you get more features, you get the mopping system, you also can change the vacuum levels and the voice level as well. Now the benefit of having Yeti is the camera based navigation. While it's not as good as LiDAR navigation, it does provide some unique features like the live map tracking. Also you have the ability to uh, know where it's at and be able to adjust accordingly. 
Okay, so if you are considering buying a Lua vacuum, here's a couple things to consider. Bathroom mats are its worst enemies. They tend to push them around and they will get debris and dust trapped underneath them. Also, you notice my stairs there, there's like a little lip there. Now, debris won't be picked up because the Lua vacuum gets lifted up and loses suction fairly quickly. So, if you have these types of situations, I highly recommend picking up the bathroom mats. And also, with that lip, you may have to manually sweep near that because the debris is still there. Alright, here's something that actually surprised me. Look how well the air was able to stay within the boundary, kind of creates a virtual line. And I was surprised how well it did, probably on par with most lighter based raw vacuum. So good job Yeti for honoring the virtual boundaries and areas within the room. Well, I felt that the world of vacuum is fairly quiet, especially on its medium to low power settings. Now, if you have a max power setting, which is 3000 pascals, I do recommend maybe having this guy run in the basement. It's around 59 decibels, so it's not terribly loud, but it's not terribly quiet. So it's up to you if the loudness disturbs you. But I was able to run this vacuum fine on its max power mode. Maybe I'm not as sensitive to noise as some people are. But you can see that the Royal Vacuum did a pretty good job picking up the majority of the rise. Uh, I had no problems getting on the Royal Mats, I also was able to get over my air vents. Okay, so the Yeti self-emptying system, if you do get that option, is pretty good. But iRobot system is a little better, and here's why. Let me show you that. So, what is the i3 for? Um, I would recommend this for someone that just wants easy to use for a vacuum, press the clean button, and the robot would do its job. Despite not having the smart mapping features, it does have an internal map, so it uses this internal map to know where the self-emptying bin is. As you can see in this video, the robot is able to track where it needs to clean and where it left off, so the robot does a good job with the self-emptying bin feature. It's one of the best systems out on the market. In theory, don't ever have to use the app. All the core functions is on the i3. You got the spot clean function, got the return to home. You also have the clean button. Okay, so let's go ahead and give you my final thoughts. Now, I have tested both these world vacuums extensively in different types of environments and situations. Now, I kind of figure out their strengths and weaknesses. For example, the Yeti strengths are it does have the camera-based navigation, so it did better in the obstacle challenge. It was able to keep track of where it needs to clean and where it has left off. Now, also, with the Yeti, the self-emptying system works really well, and the mopping system works equally as well uh, if you like the hybrid mopping. And you can see it does have that carpet avoidance sensor, so while it's mopping, it will avoid uh, the carpet. So that's a really handy feature if you do have a mixture of hardwood floors and carpeting. So I will say that the Roomba's self-emptying bin system is the best uh, that money can buy. Um, it's a dirt detection sensor. Also because they have the ability to go back to their docking station, self-empty, and then return back to where they clean. No other well back with a self emptying bin system currently have that option except for the Roombas. So if you're looking for something that can handle a lot of dirt and debris, well the Roombas are probably your best option. I hope you like this video, so give me a great big thumbs up if you do. Also if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Nathan, it's Roll Masters. I do a lot of head-to-head -head challenges, I do reviews, unboxings of these cool floor vacuums. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, I will answer them. Okay, so have a great rest of the day and I'll see you guys next time.